On November 24, 1971, a man using the alias Dan Cooper, later misidentified as D.B. Cooper, hijacked a Boeing 727 aircraft. He claimed to have a bomb in his briefcase. Cooper demanded $200,000 in ransom and four parachutes. This daring act captivated the nation and remains one of the most perplexing unsolved mysteries in aviation history. D.B. Cooper, a name forever etched in the annals of crime, has become synonymous with daring audacity and elusive mystery. He executed a flawless plan, leaving no trace of his true identity or whereabouts. The FBI, after decades of investigation, remains baffled. The case continues to intrigue and fascinate the public. The mystery of D.B. Cooper has spawned countless books, documentaries and amateur investigations. It has become a cultural phenomenon, inspiring movies, songs, and even a dedicated festival in the Pacific Northwest. Despite the passage of time, the question remains who was D.B. Cooper and what really happened to him? The enduring fascination with the D.B. Cooper case stems from its many unanswered questions. Did Cooper survive the jump or did he meet a fatal end in the wilderness? What motivated him to carry out this daring heist? The lack of definitive answers only adds to the intrigue. It was a cloudy Thanksgiving Eve when Northwest Orient Airlines Flight 305 took off from Portland, Oregon, heading to Seattle. On board was a man dressed in a business suit, calmly smoking a cigarette, a man who would soon be known to the world as D.B. Cooper. He went by the name Dan Cooper at the time. Shortly after takeoff, Cooper passed a note to a flight attendant. It stated he had a bomb and demanded $200,000 and four parachutes. The flight attendant Following protocol, informed the captain, who then contacted air traffic control. The FBI was alerted and a plan was set in motion to meet Cooper's demands. The plane landed in Seattle, where Cooper released the passengers in exchange for the money and parachutes. He then ordered the pilots to fly towards Mexico City, flying at a low altitude and with the rear air stair lowered. As the plane flew over a remote area of southwestern Washington state, Cooper jumped out into the night, disappearing into thin air. The hijacking sent shockwaves across the nation. The audacity of Cooper's crime, coupled with his seemingly effortless escape, captivated the American public. Newspapers ran headlines about the mysterious skyjacker and the FBI launched a massive manhunt. However, despite their best efforts, no conclusive evidence of Cooper's fate was ever found. The FBI immediately launched a full-scale investigation into the hijacking. They interviewed witnesses, analyzed the ransom money, and scoured the area where Cooper was believed to have landed. However, the trail was cold. Despite years of investigation, the FBI made little progress in identifying Cooper or determining his fate. The case went cold, with few leads and even fewer answers. The only physical evidence left behind was a handful of the ransom bills and Cooper's black tie, which he removed before jumping. In 1980, a portion of the ransom money was discovered by a young boy playing on the banks of the Columbia River. This discovery reignited public interest in the case, but provided little new information about Cooper's whereabouts. The FBI officially suspended active investigation of the D.B. Cooper case in 2016, citing a lack of new leads. However, the case remains open and continues to be a source of fascination for both amateur sleuths and seasoned investigators alike. Section 4. Theories abound, dead or alive. The mystery surrounding D.B. Cooper has led to a plethora of theories about his fate. Some believe he perished during the jump, succumbing to the harsh weather conditions and unforgiving terrain. Others maintain that he survived using the ransom money to start a new life under a new identity. One of the most popular theories is that Cooper was an experienced skydiver or paratrooper. This theory is supported by his specific demands for parachutes and his apparent knowledge of aviation. However, no concrete evidence links Cooper to any military or skydiving background. Another theory suggests that Cooper was a skilled outdoorsman who used his knowledge of the wilderness to evade capture. This theory is bolstered by the discovery of the ransom money near the Columbia River, suggesting he may have landed safely and hidden the money. Despite the numerous theories, none have been definitively proven. D.B. Cooper's fate remains a mystery, leaving room for speculation and imagination. The lack of closure only adds to the enduring allure of this unsolved case. Section 5. The Money Trail. A tantalizing clue. The discovery of a portion of the ransom money in 1980 provided a tantalizing clue for investigators. 
The serial numbers on the bills matched those given to Cooper, confirming that the money found its way to the Columbia River. This discovery fueled speculation that Cooper may have survived the jump and attempted to retrieve his ill-gotten gains. Some believe Cooper may have stashed the money shortly after landing, intending to return for it later. Others speculate that the money was carried downstream by the river, suggesting Cooper may have perished in the wilderness. The discovery of the ransom money, while significant, raised more questions than it answered. How did the money end up where it was found? Was it planted there as a diversion, or did it wash up naturally from Cooper's landing site? The money trail, while intriguing, has yet to lead investigators to a definitive answer. Conclusion, The Enduring Mystery of D.B. Cooper, written by Chris Hansen, Dateline NBC.